Hello and welcome back to Shire Farm, the Elder Map Challenge. We're now in November and the next few months are going to be a little bit of a strange one for us, but we'll see how they go. Now I've uh, put some of our goods away. I'll just do a quick little rundown of what I did overnight. A little tidy up. Our seeds are over there. Our lime is over there. We ran out of fertilizer. And what I have done, because I was thinking... We're going to be spending a lot of time this series just running back to the store just to buy supplies. So I've placed these down. They cost a thousand each. So uh, we lost. Well, we didn't lose. We spent three grand to place these. And we've lost about two grand overnight just for the cost of the farm. We need to make some money. So yeah, so I've, I've named them Line, Seed, and uh, Fur. A bit like I had on Ube and like I have on Maypole. And we're going to fill these up with regulars. Oh, we've got a little clay tool here. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, it's in the wrong bit. Let's see if I can get that collectible. Need the money. There we go. That'll be back later, like the ones on the wall, but we've got the money for now. Um, so yeah, I'll fill them up with... Off, off screen overnight, I'll fill them up with... Uh, our supplies that we have, although the, the seed bags don't empty in, I don't think I struggled with that on Maypole. Um, but this is going to afford us the opportunity to purchase and have it delivered, sort of at a time when we're quite desperate for it. A bit like now, <laughs> we need fur, and I'd want to keep running back and having to uh, load up, not on this series anyway. And we used about 10,000 litres, or we used 8,000 litres last time, so we're going to buy 10. And uh, we'll see how well that goes. So that's another 10 grand gone. Money's, uh, money's becoming a challenge. We've got our grass to uh, sow over there, and uh, we were fertilising. Now I think November, the only things we've got left to do is to sell that grass and fertilise this field. And then we're going to be looking for work to earn money. I've also, I was contemplating selling this. I'm not a big fan of this um, auto low type thing. I cleared it and I've uh, stacked them away. But I think I'm just going to keep it for one more harvest. Excuse me, see how I feel about it. See how it goes. But that, that was going to be the first thing for today's episode was going to be selling that. And uh, if the money keep dwindling, <laughs> that may be how things do go. But anyway, we're going to get started on the work because oh, we've got a lot of it. That was the light flash and there was nothing sort of major happening there. Yeah, we've got a lot to do. I'm not, I was going to set the work off to do the sewing, but I think I can get this done and that sewing myself all today without really much of an issue. Felt sure we just filled it, didn't we? I've put seed in the fur. What a tool, right? <laughs> okay, come on, let's do this properly. I thought that was cheap. So, how much is 10 grand going to be? 10,000 litres could cost us 17 grand. I do not need 10,000 litres of seed. That is not smart. Not smart at all. Now down to 51 grand. Can't afford to have a worker now. And we don't make any money until we hit a harvest. Although, isn't November, December the best time to sell our... Uh, our best time to sell our wheat that we've got in storage? Let's just check that while we're just sitting around and chatting and wasting time are we the best time to sell November so that would be now so I stuck the flegel on the back of the other 870 uh, I'm not sure if this will take this at full capacity probably not I did say I might turn that um, capacity limit off for this series I'm not sure I may already have done it I don't think I did Possibly, since we got a full load. 
It's 40,000, so it's half of it, almost. So we'll run this down and uh, we'll see what we can get for it. We should have two and a bit loads, or we'll probably just take the two loads because that'll be eight. They'll only be about, what, 11,000 if we took a third load. So we'll just take the two. That'll just give me that little financial buffer. I've got financial buffer. I've tagged our sail point that is just at the end of the road. Ooh, steep, steep drop. Get in there, lad. All right. Let's see what we get for it. I'm anticipating around about 34, 35 grand, maybe. Oh. Sort of speed of an empty. If we got, prefer if we had quicker empties. Time's on us now. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Thirty-five. Man can do math, right? Let's go get the second load. Yeah, we'll only have uh, fourteen thousand litres left, so we'll keep that. Plus, we need some for chickens. So, yeah. Will not, not take it all. If we get another 35, then uh, that's 70 grand for our day. I'll make up for <laughs> wasting eight, oh, 10 grand on uh, seeds. I can't believe I did that. We've got like 4,000, no, 8,000 nearly litres of uh, seeds sitting in a shed. It's going to last us for years. And for the sale, hopefully uh, the rain that's forecast today won't be all day. Again, this series isn't all about the realism, so we're not too worried about doing jobs in the rain. It'd just be nice if we weren't, you know, forced to. <laughs> Perhaps once we've got money and land, we won't have to worry about that so much. Through rough edges around there. <laughs> Not to worry. Oh, that 870 is now parked away and we are back in the other. So we just need to find where we were previously in the field. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think it'll take us long to get this the, the fertilizer finished and then we'll uh, be stuck into the rest of that seeding I think that'll probably be much of today then I'm definitely going to have to try and find us some uh, contracts so we need to be making money we, we need another field and we need another field quick I have to see what we can do about that now, I don't want to do uh, bank loans. I don't want that to be the way that we do this. We're going to work to own the land, buy the land, uh, you know, own the map. You know, if if you feel that taking out a loan would help progress it in an entertaining way, let me know in the comments. And if if people think there's something we can do without people complaining then uh, we can implement it and you know we can add that into the list of if, if there is a loan it must be paid back before you know obviously before we can say we've completed it but I'm just not a big fan of uh, doing the loan thing I can say it is a possibility if uh, if people are interested in us doing it Let's uh, probably go back to uh, using our extra speed, our extra four or five miles an hour. Makes the world a difference to get these jobs done. Now in, uh, in looking at ways of acquiring land and trying to make more money, I've been thinking about the trees. We've got a few around the farm. I want to get rid of that one that behaves different anyway whether it be worthwhile wood chipping them you know we, we need to do wood chip anyway uh, we need to do some forestry we're going to do some larger scale forestry in this series but we 
do need to we do need to do some. And that could afford us a little bit of money, but then there's again the lease and cost of the equipment. And if I bring the, the map up like this. Near field 27 there is that cluster of um, I think that's a little farm. I think that's like a sheep's farm. Or maybe sail points or something like that. Anyway, some of that woodland area around that we own. So I was wondering whether we go over and clear that out and then try and turn that either into meadow or a small uh, field doing something with it. Once we finish the fertilising, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'll have a look. Oh, I knew I'd miss a bit if I was fanning around out here like this. <laughs> yeah, over by 27, we do own a little bit of land and it is just small. It's not, it's not a big bit of land. However, that would afford us a little bit more pocket money, a chance to bring something in. But like I say, it then means the cost of leasing the forestry equipment, which isn't cheap. And like I said, I would want to chip it because they are um, like the oak and mahogany, maybe whatever these trees are. It's them. It's not the. It's not the pine. It's not the spruce. So we would, uh, we wouldn't be able to just like cut it, strip it with a uh, tree harvester. We'd have to, have to really sort of chip it up, in, cut it into logs, and delimit, and chuck it into a chip writing. And we've used a gents um, wood chipper already. Now I'm recording this before the. Uh, Platinum expansion comes out, which I believe is going to come with forestry equipment. So there may be something in that for us later, but at the minute, forestry equipment is a little bit limited, to say the least. Is that still spinning? Is it just like post post work spin on there? Yeah, stop. Okay. Right, let's get over and get stuck into the uh, seeding of the grass, which is what we were doing. Because we've already gone through one month, that has has already started to grow, but that's fine. It'll all catch up to itself. It'll uh, all die down in winter anyway. But we can get this sown, then uh, fertilise on here as well. And that'll be these done. But I'll, I'll shut up for a bit and we'll do do this seeding. And uh, yeah, we'll go and take a look at that bit of land that I was talking about. So I've got this done. finished up the uh, planting of the seeds, the preparing of the mini meadow, it's not very big, I mean it's, it's a healthy size, but we're definitely going to need more once we start filling up on cows and sheep. Now, there's another little patch I missed up the top here, so I'll get that, I don't want a hole in the uh, meadow grass. 
then we'll uh, just go along the side there and finish off the seed. And there it is over here. Oh, it was just a bit wonky. So that's done. We've got this little bit down here. I did decide to start using the uh, true speed just so I could get one or two miles more. Instead of seven, I think we're working at nine. Yeah, at nine. I did have a quick glimpse at the contracts, and there's not really a lot there, which is, uh, well, it's probably to be expected for the time of year. Uh, there's a fertilizer job on the field that we've already cultivated. I think there was a cultivating job. Oh, I didn't check what field number that was. And a harvest, and I can't imagine we'll be able to do that because it's raining. Unless it's like potatoes and beets. I think crops that are underground can still harvest, but grain crops you can't. So I'm not sure. We'll have a closer look. We'll go back up in the other bit that's not done because we weren't quite wide enough. That's going to be sort of the issue now. That's why I said this one's going to be a bit of a funny month. Because we need the money. So we need to contract. We need to contract. We have to contract. And they're all going to be cultivating and fertilising jobs. So I think I'm going to end up with a bit of a compilation episode. Because I don't want to do them off screen and just flash up the job. And again, if you prefer me to do that as... Uh, evidence of the job, the work being done, the money coming in. Let me know, and uh, I can do it that way. But I thought people might like something a bit different, so we show the jobs. But do you want, you know, for an episode of me just cultivating my four fields? Even if I was to do it, say, a contract day, they're all pretty much all going to be cultivating, fertilising and put all of winter together in one video like I did on eBay. That's still... I don't know. Still just a lot in, turn. in my eyes, that's a lot. And to just shoot through the month and... or the months and not come back again until our harvest seems like a waste of, well, let's say about eight, nine months really by the time our harvest is ready. So, yeah. A little bit of a dilemma there, I, I think. We have to unfold it to place it. Unfolding is not allowed while it's lowered. Okay. Anyway, we need to uh, just have a little look at that bit of land, so we'll get this put away. And uh, we'll have a little look at... The, uh, the trees and the area I was talking about. So the spot of land I'm talking about is uh, this one here because we own where the production sites are and these are the sale points I believe. So we've got, it's not that big, it's not as big as uh, I thought. I thought we had maybe a bit more. So if that's realistic, there's only about 10, 20 trees in there if that. But well, the rain stopped. It's the other side of this bush. So it's not even up to that track. It's sort of from here on in. And I'm not really sure how we'd even... Uh, perhaps it's just this flat bit down here, isn't it? It's not that big at all. I mean, if we took the trees out... We've got no grass here. If we took the trees out and dug it up and planted meadow grass maybe maybe that would be worthwhile just for a little extra hay and what have you how many trees have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen maybe sixteen trees maybe there's pig farm up here um yeah there is a like a gents truck, a gents chipper on the back of a truck. 
Uh, but that's I've already looked at that, and that's thirty-three grand to lease. The uh, we're not going to get thirty-three grand off these trees. That's for certain. So uh, yeah, that might be something for later on. Maybe when we're a little bit more affluent and can afford to be wasting thirty-three grand. That's a real shame. But then there's this nice big bit of land in here as well. But we don't own this. Perhaps if we could get to a stage where we could own this as well as round the back, buy it all up and dig it up, then uh, then it might be more more worth our while. Anyway, at the minute, our grass needs fertilising, so we're going to go over to our <laughs> to our seed bin and refill it with fertiliser because we've got seeds in our fertiliser bin. What a fool! I tell you what, I really wish, really wish I could get rid of these because they obstruct me coming in and out to this. If this gets empty again, we've got like 14, 15,000 litres of it. If that gets empty again, I'm going to sell it and move it forward to sort of drive in and out a little bit better. I think I'll put it too far back, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was before I replaced it for one with an actual drop rate. But yeah woes of me. So wants to be fertilizer and we want it's too much. Yeah we'll go for ten. Another ten thousand litres. We'll uh oh I did fill up did I? I'm having a right lapse day today. Screw your head on Mr Farquhar. By all the means, have a little rip in the comments. I'm, uh, I'm strong enough to take that. And uh, if you feel like being a bigger part of the community, come and join us on the Discord. The Discord server is up. I've tried to put channels on. I've spent a bit of time the last few months trying to make it better. Because um, I don't really know much about Discord. It's something else I've got to try and learn on the side. But I really want to try and build the community with this. And there seems a good place to go next. So uh, yeah, links down in the description. Um, I've had issues in the past with it not working and being a broken link, but I think it's perfectly active. I've had a few people join off it. So uh, yeah, come join us there. Good place to have a laugh, get to know me better, get to know other members of the community better. Um, all sorts, all sorts of topics. Doesn't have to be about farming. Doesn't even have to be about gaming. We've got a channel set up for all sorts. So uh, yeah, come join us there on the Discord. I think I'm going too quick, aren't I? Doing that thing again where I forget. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting done nice. That is the only trouble with running the uh, true speed. If you forget to turn it off and then jump in the tractor, next thing you know, you are whipping round like a bad boy. I think after the fertilising, That'll be it for our first day of November, and November 2 will be a, a contract day. And uh, yeah, I'll just have to see to see what's available. Um, they have had a look. The harvest that is already there is a big, big potato one. We've got to do potatoes, but I'd rather do potatoes on our own fields rather than spend all that time as a as a contract because we still need to do potatoes ourselves. And we're going to want, I think, we may want roots for for pigs. We've not done pigs yet, so that'll be uh, an interesting one on what crops we actually need. So, yeah, fun there. So we might as well wait for that. So we'll see if there's a there's a a, a, a harvest or a fertilizer job somewhere else. That's not where we've already been. It's up long and gone where we've already been, but. We want to see uh, some other fields, some other parts of the map, and I'm sure we will throughout the course of this series, because we're going to own it all. We will see every little inch of it. But that is our meadow done. And I know we could be, could think, oh, but if you want to own the map and you want to get out there, get doing them contracts right now. 
but we're going to run out of daylight. I'll only get a little bit. I'll barely get the machinery to the field, and we might have a better one turn up tomorrow. It could be a thing. So, uh, yeah, we'll get this put away. I won't detach it, just in case we need it, but I do like to try and be tidy where I can. So we'll uh, park it up in here. Lights off. There we are. Engine off. We'll go to sleep. And we'll see what late November brings us. Oh, how are our chickens? Now we'll wait. Their feed is fine. Not one pallet of eggs yet. That's disheartening. Perhaps we should uh, build lots of chicken pens. Right. See you in the morning. Oh wow, it's a dark morning. Very dark enough. Oh, look at that though, that does look nice. Cannot deny that that looks good. Right. So, contracts. Let's have a little look while we wait for the sun to come up. We might have to progress some time here. I hate working in the dark. But job-wise for today, it's still cultivating on field 17, fertilising on 29. And like I say, it's, what is it? Uh, it's potatoes on field 38. I'd like to say by, by the looks of that equipment, it's probably not that big of a harvest. But we've already done fertilising. I don't want to do a potato contract. So we're going to head out to field 17 and do some cultivating. It's quite a good size, so perhaps I should use theirs. But we lose the money. Yeah, I think we'll lose. We'll use theirs. At first, I thought I'd gone the wrong way because it, it led me to the farm. But the farm is where it's at, and just as we arrive, the sun comes up and it's a bit brighter. And they've got a couple of little toys for me, so uh, guess what? I'm having them because I need the money. Because it costs us a fortune overnight again. We're already back down to 104 grand. Not going to go hunting for them, I can just see them. And because I'm only picking them up on screen, I'm not picking up the ones I keep driving past in the road, so we'll, we may have to do some cutbacks on the way back just so uh, you can see me picking them up. But as you can see, we have got the lovely Hormic X8 for this, and I believe this is a Prolander 7500. Rolander, yeah. So I should imagine that that's a seven and a half meter width on here. Keep double tapping it. But yeah, this is this is our field. This is what we're doing. What's it offering us for a speed fifteen? So I reckon if we go, say twelve. 12 would be a nice comfortable speed for us there we are that's how I'm doing this now people you never know another one might come up in the meantime for us to do this but I think uh, because I need to get these sort of out and on the schedule this winter, I will do, like I said, I will try and do one job a day, and I'll probably show me doing half of each job, say, and I'll pop the uh, pop the end screen sort of collect payment of it up before showing the next job, and we'll probably do that for a couple of months worth, because we need to progress through. We don't want it to be... Uh, forever thing. I mean, it's going to take a long time to own this map. Some of the land is quite pricey, and because it's a good size. So, yeah, it's you know need that money. Ducks up just desperately need that third, third and fourth field. And then we're going to come to the uh, the dilemma of how many days do we increase by and when. There's another toy there, but that one's fluid. We'll snag that later. <laughs> flowy toy um, yeah so uh, 
I've been thinking about that. We're only on, what, four episodes in? Yeah. And I'm already thinking, right, how would we do it? And you guys let me know what you think. But what I'm thinking is if we go once, once two days just isn't enough to get the jobs done we need to do. Instead of going three days and having like either really long episodes or awkwardly cut episodes with three days, squeezing three days in, we go from two to four and then we can still do two days per episode unless there's not a lot to do and then we can do the four days in one episode or, or whatever and then if we're still like slow in the winter we'll still just do two contracts per month just so that it's not long-winded again so I just don't want the contract becoming too long-winded but I want to be able to do it but I want to, I want to be able to progress it's that, it's that tough thing FS22, I don't know to me it feels like there's it just seems tougher to get going than 17 and 19 did and I don't know why but something about it I don't know something about it it's, it might be just because of the whole seasons thing and the way that their seasons work and the way the built-in geos are working at the minute this one's got a better geo so I mean that was another plus for why we went with this map is it has an improved geo in my opinion uh, it gives us a lot more time to work the land with each crop so whereas the map itself may not be the best it's given us more options more viability so yeah that's why we're here in case you're wondering because I do point out that there are flaws you know parts of the map are a little bit rough looking we've got floaty things we've got textures missing but it's going to allow us to have the more fun and we can change all that stuff anyway we're going to plow fields together we're going to you know hopefully be able to take out some of these bushes and remove trees and do what we want make it our own as we uh, attempt to own it all anyway I shall once again shut up crack on with this because I don't want to make this uh, an excessively long episode uh, and we're going to be cultivating for quite a while so uh, let's just get it done checking in on the contrast to see if anything else comes up and for a little second there there was a straw delivery because we've got the uh, delivery contracts mod running and yeah they wanted 50,000 litres of straw which I thought oh that would be different that's nice we've got I don't know about 350,000 litres of straw in storage but then I go to check it just before we come to the end of the contract so I can take it and I should have took it when it first came up if I come in here, it's now gone. So we've still just got the fertilising and the cultivating. Even the harvest is now gone. So, yeah, we are going to be struggling. I think we're going to struggle to get work. I think it's going to be a real tough one. What I am going to do, though, let's get out of it. I'm going to pick it up. But <laughs> if, if they're all going to behave like the ones at the farm, it's going to be back. We're going to go get that floaty, uh, floaty thing because I think it's costing us about three, 
That's about three grand every time we sleep. So let's turn the uh, work and speed thing off. Can we even get it? Is the is the thing? There we go. If we jump. So we'll take that. We'll take the extra grand. Thank you very much. I don't know why I've jumped back in the tractor. We don't need to be in it anymore. And I have no intention of taking it back to the store. So what we'll do is claim our pennies. Four grand and we've got the grand off the field. So, you know, makes up for what we've lost. But I think rather than trying to jam another contract into today's episode, we're going to call that it for today. We've done a few jobs. We've uh, finished uh, seeding. Oh, sorry, finished fertilising our wheat, we finished seeding our meadow, fertilised our meadow, we've gone out, we've done a cultivating job, we've uh, got some new constructions over there. Things are, but oh, they've gone now, look. <laughs> they, they come, they go, they come, they go. Oh, there's another one over there, we're getting it. I see it, we're getting it. <laughs> oh, there's loads. There's uh, plenty of money to be had, look at this. This is <laughs> money collecting them. Get us through the winter. That's, that's what's come to. I didn't even notice them there before. They just sort of stick out now that they're bright pink on the yellow. But anyway, that'll uh, that'll top us up and that'll that'll see us through tonight at least. So uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, I don't know why I paused for so long there. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when the videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you want to do about contracts. How would you like? How would you guys like me to present contracts? <laughs> there will be a few episodes before that gets implemented because I do need to get this series up on the schedule. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about contracts. I'm not sure we're going to get much work between now and March, but I'm going to try. I'll see what I can do. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.